Do you know what to do if you lose your Trezor device? Today we're going to talk about what to do if this happens to you. This is simplifying things, but basically Bitcoin exists online. Your Trezor device doesn't actually hold any coins. It just holds the keys that give you access to them. Your backup is those keys. You might write them down on a piece of paper like this, or punch them into a Trezor Keep Metal, which protects against physical damage. The important part is that you've made a record of the information. The big difference between these two things is that your device actually allows you to interact with the coins. The backup itself is just information, but that information can be entered into a device which unlocks the online wallet it corresponds with. The easiest way to understand it is that your backup can continually unlock new wallets forever. It's kind of like how if you lose your phone, you can still get back into your email account using the password on a new one. That's why we constantly stress the importance of keeping it secret, because anyone with these words can buy a new device and access your crypto. Since this video is about recovering a wallet, we're going to assume that you've already gone through the process of creating one before. So let's dive into how recovery works. The first steps you'll follow are the same as setting up a new wallet. You'll install the firmware, followed by a security check to verify your device's authenticity. You'll be prompted to take a tutorial on how to use the device, which you can either complete or skip. Now you'll be on step two, where we'll start to do things a little differently. Normally, this is where you would create a new wallet, but since we're recovering one, we'll click that instead. You'll confirm your choice on the following screen by clicking Start Recovery. Your device will prompt you once for terms and conditions, and then you'll be able to choose the number of words you want to recover. There are different standards for backups ranging from 12 words all the way up to 33. Choose whichever number corresponds to the number of words in your backup. Now you'll start entering your words. Your device will ask you for the first word on the list, and you'll simply move through the list from start to finish. Some of our devices have physical buttons, and others use touch screens. So while the method of entry varies, the idea for each is the same. The cool thing about wallet backups is that the first four letters of each word are unique. This means you never have to type in more than four letters at a time before the device fills in the rest of the word for you. Some devices, like the Trezor Save 5, make this extremely easy through the use of a T9 keyboard and the devices with physical buttons save time by removing letters of the alphabet as you type based on the remaining number of possible words. Once you've entered all of your words and assuming they were all correct, the setup process returns to the same steps for setting up a new wallet. You'll set a pin, select the coins you want active in Trezor Suite, and there you go. You should be back into your previous wallet. And that covers wallet recovery. If you're still experiencing problems after the instructions laid out in this video, feel free to contact us for further help.